Hello friends, welcome to MSFT webcast. In today's video demonstration, we are going to see the steps to create a virtual switch for Hyper-V 2016. First of all, let's understand what is Hyper-V virtual switch. The very first thing that you must understand is that hyper V's virtual switch is truly a virtual switch. It is software construct that operates within the active memory of a Hyper-V host that performs Ethernet frame switching functionality. It can use single or teamed physical network adapters to serve as a uplinks to a physical switch in order to communicate with other computers on the physical network. A virtual switch allows virtual machines created on Hyper-V host to communicate with other computers. You can create a virtual switch when you first install the Hyper-V rule on Windows Server 2016. To create additional virtual switches, you can use Hyper-V Manager or you can use Windows PowerShell. In this video tutorial, we are going to use Hyper-V Manager to create virtual switches in Hyper-V 2016. For that, you have to open Hyper-V Manager. You can open Hyper-V Manager by clicking on Start button, then selecting Windows Administrator Tools and under Windows Administrator Tools, you can select Hyper-V Manager. Once you open Hyper-V Manager, on Hyper-V Manager console, on the right hand side, click on Virtual Switch Manager options. That will open Hyper-V Virtual Switch Manager. Hyper-V on Windows Server 2016 supports three types of virtual switches. External, Internal and Private. These are the options available on Virtual Switch Manager console. Now first understand what is External Hyper-V Virtual Switch. External Hyper-V Virtual Switch gives virtual machines access to a physical network to communicate with servers and clients on an external network. It allows virtual machines on the same Hyper-V server to communicate with each other. So let's create one uh, external virtual switch on our Hyper-V. Select External and then click on Virtual Switch. Here you have to specify the name of your virtual switch. For this demonstration, I'm going to give name ext switch. Okay. Under connection type, as you can see, already external network type is selected. If you select external, choose the network adapter that you want to use and any other options which you want to use shown in this console. Now here, as you can see, the first box is selected. Allow management operating system to share this network adapter. Select these options if you want to allow the Hyper-V host to share the use of virtual switch and NIC with the virtual machine. With this enabled, the host can use any of the settings that you configure for virtual switch like quality of service settings, security settings or other features of Hyper-V virtual switch. Now second we have options to select enable single root IO virtualization. Select these options only if you want to allow virtual machine traffic to bypass the virtual machine switch and go directly to the physical NIC. If you want to isolate the network traffic from the management Hyper-V host operating system or other virtual machine that share the same virtual switch, select Enable Virtual LAN Identification for Management Operating System, this option. You can change the VLAN ID to any other numbers or you can leave the options to default. This is the virtual LAN identification number that the management operating system will use for all network communication through this virtual switch. Now, but for this demonstration, we are not going to select the options for single root IO virtualization and we are not going to enable a virtual LAN identification for management operating system. Before I click on apply button, let's open network connections property. Now here you can see we have a two network adapter. This is the adapter which I want to use for Hyper-V host and this adapter we want to use as a virtual switch. If you right click on it and if you click on status and click on details, you can see the, all the informations are there like IP addressing, MAC addressing and the description of your physical adapter. Let's click on close and close it. Let's minimize this console and let's click on apply button. Click on yes and here we go. External virtual switch has been created successfully on our Hyper-V 2016 server. 
Let's again open network connections. And here you can see, now we have an external V switch. But if you see a description under it, that is showing us Hyper-V Virtual Ethernet Adapter. And this is the our physical NIC. If we click on status and click on details, that's nothing. And uh, if you click on this adapter and click on status and click on details, we can see the all the information which is stored on this adapter is transferred to this adapter. Okay, let's close this. And now we want to create internal virtual switch. Now let's understand what is internal virtual switch. Internal Hyper-V virtual switch allows communication between virtual machines on the same Hyper-V server and between the virtual machines and the management host operating system. This virtual switch does not provide communication with your physical network. Let's click on uh, create virtual switch after selecting internal virtual switch type. Now this time you don't have to select the adapter. You just have to select internal network. Now I'm going to specify the name int hyphen v switch okay let's click on apply here we go now let's again open network connections property and here we go now we have another virtual adapter showing us hyper v virtual ethernet adapter that will be used for communicating between virtual machines on the same hyper v as well as with management operating system let's close this and now we are going to create the third type of virtual switch options available on Hyper-V 2016 and that is private. Now first of all, let's understand what is private virtual switch type. Private Hyper-V virtual switch only allows communication between virtual machines on the same Hyper-V server. A private network is isolated from all external network traffic on the Hyper-V server. This type of network is useful when you must create an isolated networking environment like an isolated paste domain. These options only provide communication between virtual machines on a same Hyper-V server. So select private and then click on create virtual switch. Private V switch and here private network is selected. Let's click on apply and okay. Now, this time, if we open Network Connections property, here we can't find any other virtual adapter because private virtual switch only provide communication between virtual machines on the same Hyper-V server that does not provide communication with external network and that does not provide communication with your Hyper-V host server as well. So this is the way how you can create virtual switches in Hyper-V 2016. You can also use PowerShell to create Hyper-V virtual switches in Hyper-V 2016. That's the end of this video demonstration on how to create virtual switch for Hyper-V 2016. Thank you all for watching this video.